Hello, young people. Giant current ripples near Trinidad, Washington. This is the Columbia River, and across the river, West Bar. We're out here in the last few minutes of the day to see the surface of West Bar. Very unusual features, but if you look carefully, they're features that you've seen many times before, just at a smaller scale. We've all seen these at the beach, right? Active current ripples. The wind blowing over the surface, transporting and depositing this fine sand in individual crests. Takes some pretty fancy math to explain that, but they're here. Each ripple a quarter of an inch high and three inches from crest to crest. So those were dunes made out of fine sand. These are current ripples made out of rocks, up to five foot boulders on West Bar. This is not wind making these ripples. You need a lot of water moving quickly. The Ice Age floods. That's why this is an important site for us. Studying these giant current ripples helps us reconstruct the speed and the depth of the Ice Age flood water. Each ripple is more than 20 feet high. The spacing between these giant current ripples up to 100 yards from ridge to ridge. The water here was traveling more than 65 miles per hour. The water depth was higher than where I'm standing right here, cruising over this scene. And it's not just here at West Bar. We have giant current ripples all through the Pacific Northwest, more than 100 separate sites. And giant current ripples at Camas Prairie, first discovered by Joseph Pardee in Montana, proves the sudden release of the water of Glacial Lake Missoula. Giant current ripples near Trinidad, Washington. It's all out here to see the coolies, rocks, and canyons is scenery. Right here for you and me. Two minute geology.